Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be painting some ferns. Stay tuned to the end to see what they look like and what happens to them. Before we go any further, I just want to tell everyone about this guy here, Mogo. I recently had a crash where I was quite badly injured and it's left me unable to do a lot of things around the house. This guy from Mogo reached out to me and offered me a, a free lawn mowing service which was greatly accepted because my lawn kind of looked like the amazon rainforest a little bit he came out he didn't charge me a cent and he's done an absolutely fantastic job and he has his own youtube channel where he puts his things on there his videos on there so please if you've got some time reach out have a watch give him a like and a subscribe and help him out a little bit it'd be greatly appreciated so these ferrans these ferrons are off a CBR 600 rr They are brand spanking new, never been used before. And a friend of mine wanted to do a track day, Wednesday just gone, and asked me if I could just give him a quick coat of paint. He provided everything for me and I put the paint on as a favor. So to start with, they were rubbed down to 300 grit and given a, a coat of high build primer, which was then rubbed down with a 600 grit paper to try and get a smooth surface. And it really came out quite nice. The prime surface was really good and it was really good to paint on. We went with a base in 2K clear, and the base coat was a Porsche Sapphire Blue, which has so many metallics, and in all honesty, was pretty crap because the coverage on it was awful. I ended up giving these three full coats, and I still wasn't happy with the finish come the end. They really could have done with a fourth coat. All in all, I wasn't too stressed about it because it's gonna get crashed at some point and I'll probably end up painting them again. You can see here, I'm just putting the base on. I'm using my little mini gun, which I got from the paint place it's a tiny little mini gun with a tiny pot and it's really good to get in those small little hard to reach places hence why i was using it for the base coat i was planning on using it for the clear as well it's got a 1.2 mil tip which atomizes the clear perfectly but halfway through this job i got really really annoyed by the small pot because it was drinking the paint and i was forever just filling the pot again and filling the pot and i don't have a pps system for this gun at all so it was quite annoying to say the least now the fairing kit has tank it has the, the upper lower the tail section um and a front mug guard now the front mug guard had some manufacturing defects in it and you'll probably be able to see it during the video there's part of it where the fiberglass is actually poking through and you can also see at the bottom of the the tank and in other certain places there's a lot of defects from the molds. They haven't sanded them down before putting a gel coat on top. So if I was doing a perfect job, I would have really rubbed down the, the mold points to, to make it a smooth, a smooth surface. Sort of like the seams, if you like. So this first coat was put on. Just wanted to get some paint on the bike. I wasn't too concerned with any uh, coverage. I just wanted to get a, a coat on and have it, you know, quite smooth, uh, which was done perfectly if they ask me you know it, it had no runs no defects it was uh, it was pretty good now i was painting in my shed my garage has got another project of mine in there at the minute which you'll hopefully see soon on the channel so i was painting in my shed it wasn't cleaned i'm being totally honest there was no water on the floor i knew i was going to get trash in this paint job but the plan was always to rub the fairings down afterwards it was always my intent to get rid of the trash with a quick sand and a buff up um, to make them look you know really nice but like i said before it's a track bike you know it's not gonna be a, a show bike or something that he's gonna have on display all the time and it needs to be perfect even so i wanted to do a good job which is why i was going to cut it down and then buff any trash out but as it happened we really struggled for time because these fairings were given to me on the friday and he was using them on the wednesday which he needed a day to refit them and and prep his bike before going on the track so i really had until sunday to have them done so there was no polishing back um, and you'll see slightly later on in the video that i get some uh, peel on the first coat of clear quite a lot of peel in fact which again i would have rubbed down and, and smoothed out but it wasn't to happen so my shed is where i do all my bike maintenance and everything else it's it's generally clean but it's not a paint booth i don't have any big fans or anything like that so like i say i was quite ready to get the trash in um as for safety gear i am wearing a full respirator with uh, safety glasses as well because well i'm going to be painting with 2k clear at the end which is you know extremely toxic and carcinogenic so 
I didn't get want that. And I'm also wearing um, full arms, full legs clothing, no t-shirt and shorts for me, even though it was around about 30 degrees in, in, my, in my shed. I'm running off a small compressor. Uh, I have two of them which I can put in series to give me more more pressure if needed, but for this it was it was okay. I was just using the one compressor with only using the mini minigun. Now the settings for this minigun, it's actually set on 1.8 bar. I'm two turns out on the fluid and that's done with the regulator on the bottom of the gun there, uh, setting the air pressure that way. The paint is a mix of one to one, so one part paint, one part base and one part uh, thinner. So that does leave it quite thin, but that's the what the manufacturer spec sheet and what they wanted, so that's the way I mixed it. So that's the first coat of base applied. The second's going on just the same. It had about a 10 minute flash off period. You couldn't see that, but it did have a 10 minute flash off period in between. And you can see how the first coat's already gone matte. As I say, quite a hot day. The first coat went off in absolute no time. So second coat went on exactly the same as the first, using the same gun, same settings, everything else. I think I did actually go half a turn out on the fluid on the second one to try and get a bit more down. So off camera I did apply a third coat of uh, base coat, I actually swapped guns because I was so fed up with refilling this little tiny pot again. I swapped over to my Devilbiss FLG5 with a 1.3mm tip and put a third coat on. I didn't record that for some reason my camera didn't work. So then it was on to the first coat to clear straight away. I could tell something wasn't quite right but it wasn't horrendous. It was putting paint on. Again, if you're going to make a mistake, it's always preferable to be in your first coat of clear from my experience because you can usually sort it out with the second. So I could tell that it was, it was just too thick with the 1.3mm tip. It just wasn't coming out enough and I was getting some really big orange peel. This gun, pressure set at 2 bar and the clear was a 3 to 1 mix with 5% thinners according to the spec sheet. Again, I don't know whether it was due to the heat of the day. There was no humidity or anything like that. It was just quite a hot day, so... I banged that up to 10% thinners uh, for the second coat, which you'll see shortly, and it was much, much better.
fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, because everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. So the end result of the first coat wasn't horrific. I'd ride a bike like that, but the second coat of clear made it much, much better. And you can see here that it's it's just a much better mix. So I don't know about the TDS on that clear coat. It was a Upol clear, so it is quite a budget brand. Um, I'm not saying there's anything particularly wrong with it. It's probably really good in the hand of a skilled painter, but I am not a skilled painter. I'm an absolute amateur who's painted a few bikes in the past.
so the fairings got two full thick coats on the majority of the pieces and then I did the front nose cone and also near to the radiator guard with a third coat uh, just because that's where it's going to be most highly effective for stone chips. Like I said throughout, you can see the orange peel. It's not horrendous, it'll easily be buffed out. Same with any trash, the lower belly pan got actually quite a bit of trash on the top of it. That could all be sanded down, and w which will happen, just not in this video. A few moments later. 